You want to be fast? Be like Ricky Bobby. Welcome back to Airbrush of USA. Today we've got another air gun to review. This is the Springer type, classical. This is the Vira HW35E. We will unbox it in a bit. Okay, so upon unboxing this beautiful Springer, guys, please don't be alarmed. This does say the HW95 on the box. Don't be alarmed. It is. There we go. Look at that. 35E HW. So let's open it up. Wow. I always loving, I always, I always, always love opening up new boxes with new air guns. Wow, this thing is beautiful, guys. Look at that. It comes nicely packed, so it's got this little cardboard box thing around the globe site in the front. It got your manual, and then it's got some peep sight inserts as well. But anyway, let's just move on. Let's move all these things. Because us guys, we never read the manuals and things like that. And who, who reads manuals? Not me. We'll figure it out down the line. Anyway, let's get rid of that box. This is a beautiful walnut stock. My goodness. This is a beautiful springer, guys. It even comes with, for your sling, that you can attach your slings to it. So it's got these little pieces in the front and back. Um, it's got the lever, let me show you. Let's get a little bit closer, so, so we're all the way in the fray start that side. Let's just get a little bit closer here. So as you can see here, guys, it's got this little lever, so it's the lock, so it doesn't slam back. And then every time when you come back up, it will always be in the same position, so it will not affect accuracy. So this one is actually a plus point. It will allow you to have more accuracy always at the same time lock up. So that's a quite a nice thing of it. This is a 177 caliber, 4.5 millimeter. So that's say, yeah, HW35. So they can even show you, <laughs> look at that little picture there. So you can shoot pellets or normal flat heads, domed heads or sharp heads. But we're gonna try slugs today, see how this performs. So you can adjust your trigger. It's got a little PC there you can adjust the trigger. The trigger is very nice as I can see it there. It is steel, it's not plastic. And it's got grooves there for your fingers so it won't slip. It's got a nice cutaways here. So when you hold it, it will be firm in your hand so it's got like that stippling that's engraved into the stock look at that as well that adds a little bit to the fineness of this air gun it's got a rubber butt pad very nice color as well uh, you can put on a, a scope if you'd wish but today obviously open sights my friend that's going to be the way to go uh, you can it's got a dovetail rail on the top and it's got these scope stopper points that you can lock them down because remember guys springers smash copes to bits so if you don't have that it will always keep on moving um, we prefer just to put on single piece mounts instead of double because it's got more clamping capabilities on the rail so remember that as a tip and yeah you can adjust your windage left to right or up and down that's going to be for your elevation so Look at that globe sight in the inside there. I'll take some photos for you guys now, show you how it is. Another thing I like about this, it's got this little insert that you can index for the different sizes of peep sight that you want to look through. Well, open sight, peep sight, same thing. Um, yeah, we normally say that you guys need to also, um, after a couple of shots, just tighten down your stock screws, just make sure that they're quite tight. All right, so have a flat, end, a flat head screwdriver on hand and you should be sorted. So I've got another leather sling I'm gonna put on this. It's gonna make it look flippin' fantastic. We'll show you pictures of that just now. And um, yeah, let's stop talking. Let's shoot that 25 meters and then we'll get Peter to do the 50 grouping, 50 meter grouping. So he's pretty good with open sights. I'm still learning. 
every day we're learning so let's check what I can do at 25 meters and uh, we'll see what pellet or slug it prefers and the speed so let's go smash it down there it's almost like us alrighty welcome to my office we are 25 meters we're gonna shoot these JSB knockouts 10.03 grains 4.51 177 caliber so let's check what I can come up with here just remember I've got some other guys also stating don't put your finger on the trigger when you're cocking it I'm not doing that no more it's got an automatic safety that comes on the whole time just take it off and let's go so let's see what I can get and come up with Hmm. 615 with these 10 point 10 point oh three grains my goodness this is the first time to shoot these um, slugs out of this air gun it's nice springer Wow, very consistent, as if it has a regulator in it, ha, it's pretty cool and decent. Just one thing I want to mention, when I come back it's very positive, this little lever that's on the side, I'm telling you it's a big difference, it locks up every time on the same place. Put on this lovely sling, look at that, mm. this is a nice walk around air gun to go and shoot some pesky little birds Wow very constant One more guys and we'll go check the grouping down range. I'm seeing double sights here. My right eye is not that great. I think I'll pull that one maybe but yeah let's go look at that grouping down there this is with the slugs and it's enough power to shoot those pesky rats or India miners here in South Africa let's go check the grouping just have a look at that on 25 meters we've got three next to each other and then two like big flyers so that could be my eyesight so i'm going to try and shoot left hand and see what difference it makes but yeah let me just zoom out here for you guys at 25 meters with open sights i really think that's a good good job um, if you put a scope on it obviously you can make it go into that small little dot right there but uh, i'm pretty darn darn happy about that this is with slugs, look at that. It's in another league. I mean, you guys that shoot springers out there as well can tell me, look, obviously you guys can get it better. I mean, yeah, if you use the 8.44s uh, or the QYS pellets, you're definitely going to have it like this. Or maybe it's my eyesight. Right eyes a little bit bang. But yeah, let me, let me do it. Let's, let's test it out. I'm going to mark another one. This was right eye. And let's mark another one here, we say left eye. Can we do a five shot grouping there? Left handed. Let's see how that goes. 
All right, cool. Let's check how it goes. It's going to be quite another task, but let's see how it flies. Five shot grouping again, left hand side. That's pretty nice and decent. See the speeds guys? Still staying the same, even though it's a Springer. Even though it's a Springer. Six hundred and fifteen. My goodness. Really, really, really love it. Six hundred seventeen. So your hookup points always need to be spot on to get it to shoot super accurate the gun can do it it's just a shooter and depending your eyesight one more one more I'm pretty keen to see how that will go. This sling is decent guys. Can't wait to shoulder it, show it to you. Alright, let's go look at that grouping. That was with the left eye. Okay, look at this guys. That is a way better grouping than that. It shows you that my right eye needs specs. That was five shot grouping at 25 meters. This little springer can do it. it it's just on the nut behind the open sights, not the scopes, the open sights. So yeah, this is pretty decent. I mean, obviously with those slugs, look at them. That is very, very decent. Okay guys, this is what I think of COVID and the sanitizers. Just want to say, look at this thing. This thing has been smashed by those 10.03 JSB knockouts in 177. So have a look at this. There's the entry point. And there's the exit. That was my aim point right there. So it fell like an inch on 50 meters from 25. With this brilliant little springer guys really this thing like they would say ticks all the boxes you know for a springer it's very fun um, obviously you guys could see 
I was not shooting the gong at 50 meters, but I was shooting my targets at 50 meters. And look how nice and in line that was. Perfectly in line, so that it says this thing can shoot slugs. Yeah, I really like that. It ve it's very light. Uh, I put on the sling with it on its swivels here in the front, you know, you tighten it down. This leather sling does a good job. I mean, look at that, it holds it nicely. You can put it around your shoulder, walk. If you see like a pigeon or a rat, just swing it over like this. Boom! One time shoe shine, guys. Yeah, so let me stop talking about this thing. This thing makes me smile, um, especially to shoot these springers are fun, guys. This is where it all started for all of us in South Africa. So when you're a little kid shooting with your father, this was it. So guys, I can't say anything. I can't find fault with this. It really is awesome. You saw the speeds that we were shooting at was very consistent. Like I said, as if it had a regulator. This thing is pretty decent. I can't stop saying that. I tightened down the screws from the beginning, haven't done it again afterwards doing this whole review, and it still stayed strong. This is awesome. But anyway, guys, please like, share, and subscribe to Airbus Review SA. We'll bring you every week, also, if it persists, the weather happens not to be all shitty in South Africa. But otherwise, then subscribe to my channel. You'll see every week a review on all the air guns, springers, you name it, what we've got in the shop. We aren't sponsored any air gun as yet, guys, as yet. So, yeah, these are the ones that we bring in and we trust them. And that's why we review them, show you the accuracy and so on and the speeds. So, yeah, guys, more about that. If you need any more specs, it will be in the comments down below. Love you guys, long time, and thanks for subscribing. See you guys in the next one. Cheers, bye.